Oh, that's so early. I'm so tired. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Brent Allen Outdoors. And this Saturday morning, we're going to try to find some fish. So, let's get the boat hooked up, get loaded up. Let's roll. All right, here we are. Apparently started to rain randomly. It wasn't forecast for any rain today, but we're getting it right now. Just kind of sprinkling on the water here. It's about, oh, these mosquitoes. Ow. So yeah, it's about 65 degrees right now in the water, so. I'm anticipating these specks to be held up in the same place that were. Maybe not in the same exact spot, but maybe doing the same patterns they were as uh, last week when I was here. We're fixing to find out though. So I'm kind of just cruising, waiting for the little bit more light here and I'm gonna cruise off to my first spot and see how we can do. Got my coffee. The full moon is in four days from now so typically you know three to four days before and after the full moon fishing's generally pretty good i don't know what do i know i'm just a fisherman i don't have all the answers you guys ready to go fishing That little baby, little baby war mouth. All right, so we got a pretty slow start. Um, I'm throwing a few different colors at them right now, and they're not—they're uh, not really responding. So what I'm thinking is going on here with that—that that moon cycle coming in, they might be just held up first thing this morning. And typically, when that happens, they'll—they'll they'll usually turn on at some point during the day. Um, if it's not right now, maybe it'll be 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Um, so I'm just going to kind of keep throwing different presentations at them um, of the colors that I know work here. And um, we'll just keep hunting them down. If they're not here, they're somewhere else. So let's keep going. new spot here but these fish are moving you know as that water temps dropping they're moving in from this bigger water in and out yeah I see something moving in there yep that's what I thought healthy fish. Let's see if we can do it again. 
But yeah, like I was saying, these fish, when this water temperature gets into the 60s here, that's typically when they're going to start spawning. All them fish we cleaned last week, I'd say probably 25% of them had row. Just, just a little bit. So, I mean, they're just starting to spawn. And, uh, but yeah, they'll usually come out of this deeper, larger water into these into the shallows here to do their thing. So you just gotta poke around and find where they're hanging out. And like I said, with this moon cycle, you know, like him, he freaking, he's hungry. With this moon cycle, I know that they're on. It's just a matter of finding out where they are. Nice fish. And I've been alternating colors all morning but as you can see I'm back to my tried and true Goldilocks hair jig I got a question on my last video uh, because as you, as you can see I got garment equipment on the boat I do have live scope um, but someone was asking if I ever live scope and the answer is yes I do however the way my boat is set up, I can't fit more than two batteries on this thing. I mean, I could, but they'd be sitting out in the open. So that uh, it really limits how long that I can use these electronics before the batteries start to die. And that does suck, especially when you dump as much money into that stuff as it costs. But you know, you make do with what you got. Um, I will be getting a new boat, just, you know, it's tough to make that transition when spec season is just kicking off, so this boat is great, and I love it for what I do, so I'm just rocking it for now, and um, yeah, when I do some live scope and next, I'll, I'll obviously make a video on that. This style of fishing, you obviously don't need it, so when the fish really start moving deep, on the really colder days that's when it comes in handy the most in my opinion nice fish get a little more weight to him Tell you these river fish are just freaking beautiful. Uh, whoops! The frogs are out of here. I told myself that I'm not going to keep too many today. I'm bringing out a couple friends tomorrow. Um, so. <laughs> We get into them tomorrow i don't want to have to clean too many fish but we'll see how it goes and the size limit out here is there is no size limit but in certain areas like lake okeechobee um, it is 10 inches so you just got to look at the look at the regs on myfwc.com make sure where you're fishing you don't have any special regulations for that area and it is 25 per person my favorite part of fishing this thick dollar weed like this along the edges is watching them bust out from from underneath that stuff because you can usually see the dollar weed just like kind of move and shift as they swim out of it it's pretty neat
Couldn't resist the chicken. Couldn't resist. This fish. Nice one. That's a nice pick. Might be the biggest one I've caught so far today. Yeah, beautiful fish. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning now. The fish seem to be a little spread out. But, they, from what I can tell, they seem to be favoring some more of the grassy stuff. So, <clears throat> I'm going to cruise around these bigger pools here to look for uh, a little bit grassier cover. And uh, see if we can't pinpoint them. Because they're in all this stuff. But they're just, you know, picking up one here and there. Well, this spot looks as good as any. So we'll give it a shot. That's what I mean. It's when that grass gets pretty heavy, they kind of seem to be hung up in that. Nice fish. Just caught two out of here. GoPro overheated earlier, so I was letting it cool down. Let's see if I can pull out any more. Oh, goodness. Did you all see how he pulled that rod down? <laughs> that was unreal good gracious i mean he's nice one but god he had some force behind that oh man i might have to slow-mo that one just look at that fish what a freaking hog what a hog I don't think I've had a speck pull this ACC down like that. I thought for sure it was a bass or a mudfish or something, but no. Just a greedy speck. Finally, it's a nice fucking slab. Gracious. That is a honker of a slab. Oh, that actually might be the biggest one of the day. Oh, you sly, sly guy. We didn't kill it today. I think I've got 13 or 15 in the cooler right now. It was a pretty good day, but they're, uh, they're, they're just spread out. I'll be out here tomorrow with a couple friends and hopefully I can put them on some fish. But I think as we lead up to this full moon, it's it, the bite should only get better. Um, 
But yeah, nice day, minimal wind, and uh, all quality fish. I didn't catch one dink today. So, you know, for for what it was, I had fun. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching. And yeah. Oh, yeah. So, that's some pretty exciting content coming up. Uh, next week, I will be uh, driving down to Okeechobee to spend about a week with my dad. And we're going to be doing some hardcore spec fishing uh, down there on Lake Okeechobee, um, Harney Pond, uh, maybe Indian Prairie. Um, we're just going to kind of bounce around until we find good amounts of fish, but yeah, so I'm going to have plenty of Okeechobee content coming up, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that, and uh, you'll get to meet my dad as well. He's a hoot. So uh, yeah, some pretty cool stuff coming up, so make sure you stay tuned, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I know it's a, it's a pretty small channel, just started it. But, um, yeah, everyone's been super supportive and saying nice things, so I'm glad everyone's enjoying it. And uh, I hope to bring more of this to you as much as I can. But, you know, I can only get out when I'm not working. Unfortunately, this is not a full-time job for me. But maybe one day, maybe one day, I can just fish and YouTube and that'll be it. But for the time being, I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.